I don't have a long speech. It's going to be short. But I will say this. Hello, is this Mickey Page? Um, this is Kevin Keyes. Who is Kevin Keyes? <laughs> You've been selected to the Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame, how? You know, I'm listening to him talk. He gives me information. He tells me all about it myself. This got to be real. So I look around. Well, the good thing, my wife works at CVCC, the community college, just a hallway down. I said, Donna, I got selected to the Hall of Fame. Don't tell anybody that, okay? I don't know if it's real yet, okay? <laughs> so I'm looking at her. 20 minutes later, I decided to go out, and meet my friends and stuff, and talk to my coworkers. Congratulations, Mickey, you've been selected to the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Donna, Donna, Donna. Uh, you know, it's an honor to be here tonight. I'd like to thank Coach Hout, Coach Williams, Ed Gomes, that whole coaching staff that was with me when I was in college. And it changed my life being here at Liberty, Liberty University. And the biggest thing is Liberty University serves the Lord, and it changed my life. But the biggest thing is I learned to be a man, and Coach Hout loved us from top to bottom. He always said he loved us. And I appreciate you, Coach. Um, you know, he touched us. And the biggest thing I would see is we would, every Friday, we would have a session where we would talk about the Lord because we got beat up during the week, no doubt about it. <laughs> but on Fridays, we would talk about the Lord, the training table, and we sit there. And uh, my junior year, there were guys who hadn't got saved. And when they talked, they learned about the Lord. And these two guys, they were the head brothers, and they had big heads. <laughs> uh, and, and they had the largest hammers on the team. And uh, these guys said they didn't know the Lord, and then they got saved. And that was, that was Coach Hout right there. He touched people's lives. He changed lives. And that's what it's all about, giving back to the community and touching people's lives. But especially, I like to thank my mom and dad, who I love very much. I never get a chance, the opportunity in public to say I love them so much. They've been great to me. I like to thank my wife, my children, Brianna, who just graduated from Liberty University, uh, Hannah, who's my diva, Jackson, he's my youngest one. I don't know if he's going to be a genius or a bank robber. <laughs> um, he's fantastic. Uh, his birthday's tomorrow. He'll be 10 years old. And uh, it's just great to see that. And my mother and father-in-law. Now, I got a little story about my mother and father-in-law. I've been married to my wife over 30 years. And I will always say Mr. and Mrs. Grant. Because I'm, I'm from the South. So I'm used to saying Mr. and Mrs. and being polite. But they started ignoring me, saying, we're not going to answer that. And I kept on saying, hey, come over here. You know, I would never say that name. So tonight, I'm probably going to say, mother and father-in-law, thank you, Nancy and Brian. I love you guys. You guys are fantastic. Now, when I say give back to the community, I work with foster youth in the community. I have about 60 kids going to CVCC for free. Uh, I just had two. I went, had one to go to UVA and one go to Washington Lee, who just graduated. 17 to 24, think about this. You don't have a family. You don't know what's going on in the world. You don't know who to trust. And the biggest thing about Great Expectations is I build a relationship. I want you to trust me, and I do. I work with these young folks and try to transform their life into something positive. Because each and every one has been blessed with families and support, they don't have it. And I work with them on campus. We work with about 3,000 students at 21 community colleges, and we're trying to change our lives. I work with homeless students. I work with students who have situations on campus. And it's a great program. My president gave me an opportunity to do this. And it all started from Liberty, because Liberty teaches us to love people. In the Bible, it says hope, faith, and love. And love is the greatest. And if we continue to give love and show a beacon of light to this school, that we can, I don't know what to say, because I love this school. You know, so much negativity going around. But the Lord is with us, each and every one of us. And we should be thankful every day that we have him. I don't understand people who don't know the Lord. I try to work with them. I treat them with a long horn spoon. I show them the love by example. But this campus, when Dr. Falwell was here, he wanted 50,000 students. But I do have a story about Dr. Falwell. He would always come in our locker room. He would walk over and he would punch us in his shoulder. I wanted to hit him so bad sometimes. I really did. I mean, he had that big heavy Rolex on. I wanted to hit him. I couldn't, but he would come in our locker room, you know, but he was fantastic. 
if people don't realize that man was not a man of God, you got to be someone else, you know, because he always had a vision bigger than us. And when 2007 came, I was hurt because it was a sad day for me as a player, as a, as a student here. And um, I'm, just, I'm just happy that I'm here tonight to be honored in the Hall of Fame with many other people. You know, I, I, would t I know I, I figured I wasn't going to cry. You know, I don't cry. That, I'm not that emotional because it's kind of ugly when I cry. It's, it's really bad. And so I didn't want to do that. But, uh, you know, I'm looking at all these beautiful faces here tonight. And it's an honor to see you guys here tonight to, to, to represent us in Hall of Fame, each and every one of us, because each and one of us has a, a gift, you know. And uh, Dr. Falwell said he always wanted to train up champions. So we're champions, and we're going out into the world to make a big difference, and we're going to continue to fight the fight, no matter what the circumstances may be. Liberty University will stand as one, and we're going to build a bonding community. And I would like to thank everybody for giving me the opportunity to be here for the Hall of Fame, and thank you.